Hey guys, King Gath here with another patch for Sim Settlements. This is patch 1.1.8, which I'm calling Maximum Integration. Now you're probably wondering why I'm not in game like a normal patch video, but we will get in there. But first I want to introduce you guys to a new mod. Well, it's relatively new. It's been out for uh, a few weeks now. The uh, reason that I'm introducing this to you is because I think we should all be using this in the community. Uh, what this mod does is it adds a management uh, utility that will take over all of the custom menus. Now, the benefits of this are, one, you don't have to worry about ever needing to run an uninstall chem uh, if a mod integrates through this manager. Uh, and two is that you don't have to worry about using extra processing power. So a lot of the mods right now that maybe don't require an uninstall chem for their custom menu uh, do use a constant loop that runs and it basically is eating up a little bit of your scripting power. So uh, there are neg there are disadvantages to all of the methods that are currently being used. Now Settlement Menu Manager solves all those issues, guarantees mods that use it will not break your settlement menu, your workshop menu, uh, and it's just, a, just the perfect solution to this problem and it's basically what I've been waiting for uh, to add a custom menu for Sim Settlements. So if you have this mod installed, you will get a custom Sim Settlements menu. Now, uh, I don't. It's not an absolute requirement, so you can you go without it, and you'll still continue to access the plots via the special menu. Uh, but going forward, I'm going to organize anything new I add to Sim Settlements uh, based around having this mod installed. So there's a big advantage to having it. Now, if you're wondering about the author, uh, CAD PNQ, uh, the man is a damn genius engineer. We can trust his work. Uh, I've looked through all his code. I've talked to the man. He's best known for advanced settlement power, which if you're into uh, Minecraft redstone building, you should absolutely check out this mod because it adds crazy power uh, into what you can do with things like the Contraptions Workshop. Okay, so now let's head into the game. I'm going to show you guys this new build menu and, sh and talk about how I've got it organized, uh, as well as show you one of the other big features in this patch. Uh, so if we pop in, you'll see we've got a Sims Elements uh, menu. And what I've done is I've broken each plot down into its own sub-menu to keep it organized. Uh, this is also going to open it up for me to add a lot of new uh, foundation types that you guys have requested so that I don't have to worry about cluttering uh, the special menu. Uh, and they're not showing yet, but I've also got a few sub-menus added that uh, I'll be adding things to in the future uh, and that any add-on authors can as well. Uh, things like custom, uh, the wedges would be a good fit for that if PC Doug is interested in doing so. Uh, and then in the future, I'm going to add things like custom plot with uh, stairs, balconies, stuff like that. And there will be new categories that will automatically pop up for those. So uh, if you want to install Settlement Menu Manager, it's available on Xbox, PC, uh, and you can download it through uh, Nexus or Bethesda.net. I will leave links in the description. And then the other thing I want to show you guys is, and part of the reason this is called Maximum Integration, is uh, I've started integrating more things fully into the UI of the uh, game. So you'll notice right now if I mouse over an agricultural plot, I'm sorry, I guess I'm using a controller as many of you know right now, uh, but if I if I highlight over it, it shows the correct food amount in workshop mode now. Uh, and that will apply not only to the uh, agricultural plots and the default sim settlements, but uh, after the add-on authors do their next patches, I have to show them how to take advantage of this new code. They will be able to have things like their water, or for example, uh, power will be able to be supplied directly from the plot without requiring you guys to wire anything extra. So keep an eye out for uh, add-on pack updates. Other than that, check out uh, the bug fix list. It is now on simsettlements.com. I will link that again, but if you go to the wiki, there's a section called patch notes. Uh, and there'll also be a link on the front page of simsettlements.com. Okay, guys, uh, enjoy the mod and take care. 